Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Actually, have a few important announcements. First, the good news. We're having a critter blessing on Saturday at 1130, better known as a pet blessing. But people have brought all sorts of things. I've seen snakes, iguanas, whatever. All animals are welcome to be blessed by priests at 1130 next Saturday, just outside the front doors of the church. Now the harder part, the parish extends sympathy to Joan LaRoche upon the death of her husband, John LaRoche. John's funeral is Thursday at 2 p.m. We also extend sympathy to Dora Rios upon the death of her husband, Germaine Rios. His funeral is Friday at 2 p.m. And finally, we extend sympathy to Lenita Turner upon the death of her husband, Joseph Turner. Joseph's funeral is Saturday at 1.30. Our presider today is our parochial vicar, Father Bill, and he's assisted by Deacon Peter Harris. Please rise as we begin this celebration. everyone a happy anniversary and the feast of the parish's birthday and uh, for those who have been around a long time you've been here for the long haul and for those of us who are newer uh, we are experiencing uh, the wonder and the beauty of this celebration and so as we enter into the presence of the Lord let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit grace and peace and love of God our Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, the Lord invites us into his mercy and his love. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, Christ, O 
body and blood give me a May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth it is to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. manifest your almighty power, above all, pardoning and showing mercy. Bestow, we pray, your grace and abundance upon us, and make those who hasten to attain your promise heirs of the treasures of heaven. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say the Lord's way is not fair? Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity He committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life since he turned away from all the sins he has committed. He shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me, teach me 
St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves each looking at, out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go out. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate this uh, anniversary of the parish, we celebrate uh, a reality of what God consecrated and made known in this particular part of the archdiocese, making known 
the life of the people of God in giving a house of worship to our Lord. And as such, we are asked to then recognize how we work as one, as a family, as a community of faith, to grow in harmony and in truth. The Feast of the Transfiguration, even though it was a few months, a month or so ago, we celebrate the Feast of the Consecration of the Church today. And I think the readings kind of go hand in hand with that because it asks us to look at ourselves and ask ourselves questions about our relationship with God. How are we, as we have prospered in faith in this particular place of life, how have we prospered in faith? How have we maybe become sort of mundane in faith, or another word to use to be kind of lukewarm in our faith. Doing things because we do them. What Sunday morning is time to get up, it's time to go to church. It's time to fulfill our obligation. But yet our faith is much more than that, and that was what God is trying to call us to in this celebration of this Sunday a reality of how we relate with him in everything we do and everything we are, in the way in which we are a people of God in a particular place in life, how we have grown, how the parish has prospered and we have prospered. A building is nothing. It's the life of the people that make the difference. And our prosperity is a symbol of God's blessing upon us and our continued growth and relationship to life. I know during the pandemic, it's been a difficult time for many people. Many conversations about how do we get them back who may be afraid to come back because it's still a real entity. How we come together to celebrate in a safe environment so that we can keep the church open and we can keep the life of the parish alive, that God can feed us and strengthen us. It takes this willfulness of putting our hearts in the hands of God and asking his will. I know I say this a lot, but it's a truth. As we celebrate our anniversary, we ask, Lord, where am I in relationship to your will? Maybe I was around a long time ago when it was down at the drugstore. Maybe I was around when it was the um, Quonset hut up on the hill. Maybe I was around when, when the parish was first opened, it was consecrated. Maybe I was around when they knocked the wall down and they expanded the church finally. Maybe I was around when they built the extension onto the facility. But where we are and who we are is seeing ourselves as with one another and for one another in life. That's the reality of what the church means for us. And that's what our readings call us to do. The problem with the Israelites was they didn't want to be with one another. Everyone had their own opinion. Everybody had their own view. They forgot to turn their hearts to God and ask him, what do you want for us, Lord? And I think that's the constant question. As we celebrate this anniversary, we ask the question, what do you want for us, Lord? How do you wish for us to prosper? Being open to his answer. Because it takes a collective will of all of us, not just the pastor, not just myself, not just the staff, but a collective will of all of us yearning to understand where we stand with God in relationship to life. And we can undo the past of the life of the church of Israel if we can continue to grow 
and openness to what God calls us to be. His holy people. Church means people of God. It doesn't mean building. Church means the body of God's faithfulness, living and true. And that's what we are. So as we celebrate this anniversary, we celebrate it hopefully with joy, even though we can't really celebrate it as normally have in the past. But there's this happiness that we know of the wisdom and the grace that this parish has grown in and the openness that God continues to call us into as a people of life. Happy birthday. God bless you. May we be open to the ways that God calls us continually to prosper in faith. Amen. there went that table. I guess that means that new things have to happen. I hate to use that word restoration, but (laughs) that poor table. As a people of faith who are gathered this day to celebrate the grace God has given us as Transfiguration Parish, we profess our faith in our Father, in Jesus who is our brother, and in the spirit of life who continues to lead and guide us as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. For him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as a community of faith, let us offer our prayers to God who calls us to be loving servants to others. Our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church of Christ throughout the world, may we shine the light of Christ on others so that all might know the love of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church of Atlanta, the Vatican II spirit of renewal and enthusiasm for the liturgy that gave birth to this parish might be rekindled in parishes throughout our archdiocese. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for this parish family, that we may always appreciate each Eucharistic celebration, service project, social gathering, or education session. And we praise God for calling us to this remarkable faith community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for ordained, professed, and lay ministers, who have served this parish with love and dedication. May they always know the gratitude of this community for their abundant talents given so generously. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from war or violence or natural disasters, may we act justly as we work to aid victims in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, may it become one nation under God, where all citizens treat others as brothers and sisters instead of adversaries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who endure illness or depression, may Christ be with them so they experience physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the members of our parish as we celebrate our 43rd anniversary for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially German Rios, John LaRoche, and all who have been buried from this parish over the past 43 years, comfort those who mourn and welcome those who have died into the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions held in silence. Father of all, help us to keep Christ in our hearts and action so that we may be worthy disciples of your Son. Hear these prayers and grant them through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord and the saints. 
Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptable with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid down before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son. But those by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that the sin we have lost by disobedience. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks and exaltation as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ and by the power and the work of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things making them holy you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore Lord we humbly implore you by the same gracious spirit make holy these gifts we have brought for your consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this tongue, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit, become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, her blessed spouse, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this our sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the church. Be pleased, confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church here on earth with your servant, Francis, our Holy Father, Gregory John, the Archbishop, Joel and Bernard, his brothers, and all your clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life. You have kind of into your kingdom there. We hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. 
Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on this world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As a community of faith, we are asked by God the Father to pray in the words his Son has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day by the help of your mercy. Make us always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. It's on an anniversary so we can distantly welcome each other, sign of peace. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who has come to take away the sins of the world. And blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. If you're joining us for this Mass online, please pray this prayer at this time. My Jesus, on the day of my baptism, you poured your love into my heart through the Holy Spirit, who unites me eternally to you. Through that same Spirit, I pledge my love and adore you, present in your most holy body and blood. Though I cannot consume you in this sacred banquet, let me be consumed by your complete desire for me, so that my longing for you may be filled by your love alone and your mercy overflow through me into this world so in need. Amen. In this very room there's quite enough love for all of us and in this very room 
there's quite enough joy for all of us and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to chase away any clue for Jesus Lord Jesus is in this very quite enough love for all the world and in this very room there's quite enough joy for all the world and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to chase away and For Jesus, Lord Jesus, Jesus is in this very
Let us pray. May the heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore in us in mind and body that we may be co-heirs in the glory with Christ, whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So on behalf of Father Fernando, myself, the parish staff, and uh, wish everyone here a blessed anniversary. And uh, that's getting close to 45, so I don't know what the, what the gift is at that time, but to get back to the parish would be something, I don't know, was it silver? Um, that's fine. So, God bless you all, and, and uh, thank you for the gift of life that you are, and that you will always be. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.